Hi, welcome to Fantabulous Fridays. This is Elsa, and uh, you can find me at justafewdesigns.blogspot.com. I also have an Etsy ID, and I go under Blue Twilight. Today, I have this little mini album that I made, and it's the first book of this type that I make. It's made out of um, brown paper bags, and uh, of course, uh, butterflies, and this one has moths also. Uh, I just love butterflies, and I found a button that I took the back part of it and glued it to the center. It also has some little female flowers nestled all through it and some feathers. Isn't that cute? I got some bling throughout the book and, and the pages themselves are really pretty. Um, on the side of it I've got a few charms, a little sunflower and a little pot that says dream. I've got a little dragonfly. Another one of those little charms. It looks like an apple. I don't. I don't think it was supposed to be an apple. And it says um, believe. And of course, a little butterfly. This book opens like this and like this. And page one for a photo. And that was so pretty. I didn't want to cover it with anything. It has um, the pages are come pre-glittered like that. Is from the Mariposa collection and um, it's a little half page and it has three little tags that were stamped and I used red throughout the book because the pages have red peeking out all over the place so I thought the red picked out the colors really good um, here's another tag and they just go in here and this is a Martha Stewart um, paper punch little flowers turn it over and some prima flowers with a little bling and another little tag and an area for you to put pictures and this is a yellow ribbon and I stained it with um, distressed inks from Tim Holtz I just didn't want it to be really bright yellow because the book itself has got more of that antique dark color to it and yet again here's another page that was too pretty to cover up with anything but you can journal right here or put a picture uh, that's a really beautiful moth and uh, birdcage oh I love the bird cages. the, the bags themselves I, I made them to where um, you can th there's an empty spot for you to fill and if you're anything like me I love spaces to put pictures or things of my own but I also added a tag in there with the same ribbon to match down here and it's stamped and it's finished on both sides beautiful and then the next page. Instead of this being a flap like this one back here, this one actually turned into a pocket where you have yet another tag. That's a Martha Stewart punch. Some more of those fibers. The back is stamped. Cute little butterflies. The next page, um, once again, I, I carry the same paper throughout the book um, so that it has the same feel. Uh, here's the same butterfly with some flowers, a little bling in the butterfly, and this little tag actually opens. So you can tag, put a picture, a picture or journal, and another bag for you to put your stuff in, and another tag. And this tag, sweet, and it's sponge, and it has um, a border cut out, and this moves and rotates so that you can add things there and add things to the back. It's also finished. and. Um, the bag is stamped with flowers. It's got a little uh, feather. And I carried the same stamp throughout, once again, to keep the same feel. Now, yet another page Beautiful Dreams. And uh, this was actually colored in with um, Copic markers. I, I added the color and the stamps to it. This is a paper punch. I don't have the name of who makes that punch, but I thought it was really pretty and it went with the page itself another little page with another pocket. It has two little tags for you to add little pictures and stamp with the butterfly. And this is just another page and I put a little sticker that says Believe in Miracles and it just blended in with the paper. It looks like it belongs there. And what I love about these pages is that even though they're glittered, the glitter doesn't come off on your hands. I hate having glitter all over the place. And there's another little charm, another little butterfly charm, and it's on a strand of beads 
little green beads and you probably can't see the beads but the beads are really pretty embossed looks like with different shades of green through it it's really pretty i used to do jewelry so i love things that dang on not to mention that i'm a pisces so bright things attract me once again the same butterfly pattern with little bling on the side and this opens for pictures journaling on the back has little model butterflies and they all have little glitters within the little bodies and another bag for you to put pictures and such in and another tag and it has a little owl and he's sleeping and the same butterfly flower and the back has a forever little pocket with another tag yet in there and another page and once again this one turns into a pouch and it has two tags have that same sort of feel to them and fairies I love fairies that's another one of my passions butterflies fairies and one more page same beautiful butterfly says sonnet 18 and another bag for you to store things in and another tag this one says butterflies and moth and it's stamped and distressed and the back, oh, all the back of my um, tags are finished. And this one says, we do not remember days, we remember moments. I don't know who, who it's stamped who did it, but I don't have my glasses, so I have no idea who did that right now. And then you get to the last page, and it's the piece of resistance for me, because this is, um, you can put a picture through here, it fits right underneath the ribbon. But the neat thing about this is when you pull this little tag, it opens. Voila. <laughs> And it says, all you need is love. And you push it in, and it closes back to itself. I thought that was really, really neat how that does that. <laughs> and the butterfly. I just blinked her up and traced her with a Copic marker. And this is the back page. And just for you to put pictures, I put a little saying right here. It says, chase your dreams. You just might catch one. And it ends with a metal beaded butterfly and she's resting between a stamp and the whole thing just closes up and you can close it like this I guess and to the back but I really like this closure like this and you just tie your little bow this uh this ribbon up front right here was a really bright green that I also distressed so it would have the same feel and you take your time and do very prettier bow than that but that's it that's my little book that i wanted to show you and it's going to go up on ebay under lollipops no lemon drops and lollipops uh design team lldt you can find us by typing in on the search and later on it, it'll probably end up on etsy if it doesn't sell on ebay and you can find me on etsy under blue twilight um, thank you for stopping by and leave me a comment. Thank you. Bye.